Today I'm going to show you how to upload a video to YouTube. Start off by going to youtube.com and then make sure you sign into your account. Then when you're ready, click on the little camera icon to upload video. So click on that. You might want to use this if you took a video with your phone, for example, or maybe you recorded in Screencastify, but it's taking a long time um, to process in Google Drive. That's been an issue lately, probably because so many people are using um, Google Classroom and Google Drive right now. Anyway, when you're ready, um, select File to search on your computer, or you can just drag it in from your, from your desktop, which is what I like to do. So here's my video, and I'll just drag it in. And now I see that I have my video right here. It's uploading. I can uh, change the title if I want. Maybe I'll just capitalize. And then I'll add a description. So whatever your lesson is about, in this case, I'm just adding a, a dance video. And then you can uh, choose a thumbnail. So maybe you have a picture on your desktop that you want to add. If you don't have one, you could take a screenshot. So I'm going to open up my video just so I can see what my title page was. Then I can take a screenshot. And there's, uh, depending on what device you're on, you'll use different commands. So for example, if you're on a Mac, it would be Command Shift 4. Or if you're on a Chromebook, it's going to look like this. Um, so if you want to click and drag to select an area, you're going to use Control Shift and this key. Or if you want a screenshot of your whole screen, then it's Control and this key. On a PC, I recommend um, downloading GreenShot. And if you have that installed, you can just click the Print Screen button, which is what I'll do now. And then click and drag to select what you want. And then I click the second option, save directly, it'll save to my desktop. So let's go back here. So now I'm going to click here and I can find my screenshot um, and click open. And now it's added right there. And then um, scroll down to figure out um, any other options that you want. If you're adding a um, lesson for your students, then make sure you click yes, it's made for students. You could also add to a playlist if you have a playlist maybe of math lessons, for example. Um, then you can click on these for more options. Um, you can add tags if you want, uh, maybe if you're making it public. If you're just going to share the link, anyone with the link, I wouldn't really bother with this. Um, maybe you want to disable these if you don't want it to be embedded on another website, for example. Um, yeah, and if you choose made for students, automatically comments are disabled. I might also disable likes and dislikes. And then click next. And click next one more time. And then you have a few more options. So here, um, unless you want your students to be able to look you up on YouTube and, and find maybe you're posting all your videos publicly, um, then you could choose public. Or if you don't want other people finding your videos, maybe you're just making it to post in Google Classroom, then you could do unlisted. And when you're ready, click save. So now my video has been published and I can see the link to share. I can click here to copy the video link and then go to Google Classroom to post. Sometimes if you upload a video that's really long, you might go, you might end up in this screen and then it'll show your video and it'll say something like 0% processed. Lately, um, because of high traffic, it's been taking five to 10 minutes versus um, Screencastify's processing in Google Drive has been taking hours lately when normally that takes five to 10 minutes. Um, so anyway, you wanna wait until your video is done processing and then you can share the link. So 
When you're ready to share, go to your Google Classroom. So I'm going to find my test class and then go to classwork. And then add your link. So I clicked add link and then paste with control V or command V and add. And then you could just fill out your assignment as normal and click assign.